for a change. You might learn something. Do you want to be ignorant all your life like you were about Neymar? Oh, Neymar now, is it? What's she got to do with anything, eh? You wouldn't listen to me. It's none of your business, that's why. Look, if you must know, Mum, you were right. You're always right. Well, so what? It's my life. You don't care about me. Oh, that's where you're wrong. Oh, no, you don't, Mum. All I am to you is someone you can talk about. Someone you can make snide remarks at. Well, I think there must be something wrong with you if you can't bear to see me with a girl. Don't be stupid, Simon. Just looking out for you, that's all. Well, I don't need looking out for, do I? That's what you think. But why don't you just leave me alone, eh? I was all right until you came here. And so was everyone else, as far as I can see. I wish you'd never come here, Mum. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah, I may not know much, Mum. I may not have known much about Mum. But I'm old enough to choose who I can and who I can't talk to. And right now, I don't want to talk to you. And if I do want to talk to my dad without you batting in all the time, I will. I know something else and all. You? You're just a tired out old slag bag, that's what you are. A jealous, tired out old slag bag. You know! What do you know? You wouldn't even know your old man if he walked in here right now. Oh, what's that supposed to mean, eh? I said you wouldn't know your dad if he walked in here right now. Well, why'd you say these things, eh? Because it's true. You've heard of your Uncle Kenny, Pete's brother? He's your dad if you want to know. You're lying, that's not true. No, oh, it's true. Kenny's your dad. That's why he had to leave. You ever heard your gran talk about him as though he was still one of her own? The precious Beals. Oh, she won't even let him come over and visit. He's never seen you. It's as if he don't exist. That's your father, Simon.